Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 43. This training module, we're going to be exploring using our overrun fuel cutoff so that we can cut our fuel in deceleration conditions for fuel economy and also programming a strategy to be able to increase our fuel momentarily and reduce our spark timing as we're coming on and off throttle to improve drivability. We have a lot to cover. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our deceleration fuel cutoff within our Haltech Elite systems using our NSP software. Now our deceleration fuel cut allows us to shut the fuel injectors down when we're in overrun or deceleration conditions. This is where we're in lift throttle, the engine starting to decelerate as we're in gear or coming back into an idle, and we can shut off the injectors for a period of time and then turn them back on before we get to a point where the engine could stall out. So at the lower engine speeds, we're gonna turn our injectors back on. Now what this is gonna allow us to do is make sure that we can have better fuel economy by shutting down our injectors in lift throttle conditions. We're not going to be pumping fuel into the engine that's not really used for combustion or any purpose at that deceleration point. And then we can pick up our economy by a couple miles per gallon. It's usually substantial. Now, the other reason that I actually like to go and enable our the decel fuel cut feature is going to be the ability to improve and refine the on-off throttle feel as we're driving our engine. We're specifically accomplishing this by going in and having a way we can offset and add some additional fuel as we come back on the throttle. That's going to help with a momentary lean spike that the transient fueling may not pick up. And then we're also gonna have the ability to offset and retard the spark timing for a momentary period of time that allows you to refine that on-off throttle feel. So it definitely improves drivability with the decel fuel cut on, but we need to make sure we're programming it properly, which is what we're gonna go through in this tutorial. Now we have a specific page for the decel fuel cut programming that we can find right here. So we're gonna move from our fuel tuning page over into decel fuel. Now, if you don't have this page added into your page layouts here, make sure you go here to add new page and then go into the load from file option. This will allow you to go into your course folder you've downloaded from our directory, the course library, and you can go ahead and load that specific page right there. So let's go ahead and jump back into Decel Fuel. Now, in the Decel Fuel page, we're going to have a couple tables to program and another table here to consider. So we have our Decel delay time. This is going to be the cut delay time, how long it waits for the Decel cut to turn on. We'll get into this a little bit later here. We also have our decel minimum RPM. This is going to say above this RPM, we're gonna go ahead and cut off the injector. Below this RPM, we're gonna turn the injector back on so we can ensure that we have stable combustion as we enter into idle or getting close to idle conditions. This just makes sure we don't get a stalling condition, a lean condition as we're trying to turn the injectors back on really quick. Well, again, we'll talk about the purpose of this and programming these with some specific values in a little bit. We also have to consider our zero demand ignition angle. Now this is typically used for the idle control. This is also used in terms of the spark timing we're gonna call out. So this is the absolute timing and we're overriding anything coming from our main spark timing table here. And we'll talk about spark timing coming up in some future tutorials, but this is gonna be calling out the actual spark timing when we're in a zero demand condition. So zero demand is specified all throughout. Let's go here to main to our navigation tree, engine configuration. If we go down here under throttle limits, user demand minimum, but user demand maximum. The user demand minimum is what specifies the zero throttle or zero demand tables being used specifically to call out the spark timing. Now we typically wanna go and set our zero demand minimum to something like 1%. This will ensure that the idle control and the idle conditions are being met with 1% throttle and less. It also then ensures that we're going to be, let's jump back in here, we're going to be utilizing the zero demand ignition angle then under deceleration conditions. So this is actually what it's gonna call out for an ignition timing. And it's gonna override whatever is coming from, again, any of our spark timing calculations. Now, this is something to consider when we're in the decel conditions because if we're getting some kind of an odd behavior, maybe some popping and banging out of our exhaust, this is what will control a lot of that overrun spark timing. So if you're after a lot of popping and banging, you could put really high negative values in here that'll create that uh, kind of crackling and popping and banging out of the exhaust when we're in the zero demand. I wanted to mention this because sometimes as you're trying to program the decel cut, 
setting it up for your, for your engine, your configuration. Um, again, if you're getting that crackling, a lot of times people don't know where it's coming from, which would be the zero demand ignition angle. Now, we'll talk about this again a little bit, little bit later, but we're seeing here that we do need to consider and program. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.